Good evening, Interweb. My name is Midrealm, and tonight we're looking at uh, Portal Reloaded. I'm a big fan of puzzle games. I've been looking forward to this for a while. Uh, it just came out today, so uh, this is my first look at it. I don't know why the Reloaded is off screen. I messed with the uh, display settings. And it just seems to always cut that last D off. I don't know if that's a design choice or if I've got some settings wrong. But uh, I don't care. I'm going into it and we'll just see what happens. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Portal Reloaded is... Uh, I believe it's a, a mod, a fan-made... I don't know if it's fan-made or official. Anyway, it's an add-on to Portal 2 that adds supposedly a new dimension to the game, adding a third portal. I avoided too many spoilers about it, but what I do know is that the third portal allows you to move through time. So you can do something in the past and then jump forward to the future and it will, may have a different effect on the level. So it's interesting to see how that's going to play out. So here we go. Oh, it's a load screen. I'm sitting here just trying to move, and it's like, oh, it's not. So I guess, yeah, that, that was the same level of scene in two, two different times. I am not getting any audio. Well, good thing I have captions on. Welcome to the Aperture Science Long-Term Human Storage Vault. You've been selected to take part in a special testing course. I'll try to fix the audio as soon as the level starts. Um, I don't want to do it now because uh, I'm afraid I'll miss something while it's going. Federal regulations require us to inform you that the testing head may result in slight cases of sore throat or blurry vision or death. kind of disappointed that the sound's not working. If you experience any of the aforementioned side effects, please do not hesitate to write them down in your test report. Uh, hopefully I'll get the sound working. Once it is working, I will do my best to shut up when there is dialogue going on. The vacuum tube will take you to your testing area. You will be further instructed there. Uh, good luck. But I do have the captions on for just that reason, so that uh, you would be able to hear it over the, if I end up talking. Not hear it. You'd be able to... you know what I'm saying. So I guess the, the ruined one is the future, and the clean one is the past. Be I, I would guess between Portal 1 and Portal 2. If you've played those games, you know, Portal 1 was very pristine looking most of the time, and while Portal 2, uh, the place was in ruins. Well, not entirely. It doesn't matter. It, if you haven't played either of them, or if you've only played one of them, go get, get them both, play them both. Um, the first one is much shorter than the second one. Okay, welcome to the Enrichment Center. These automated messages will guide you through your test today. The door in front of you is programmed to open in approximately 20 years. The test can be solved in two ways. Option one, wait patiently. Option two, time travel to the future. All right, I'm gonna check my settings now. Or not. The choice is yours. However, if you prefer time travel, the Enrichment Center will provide the means to pursue that option. Uh, options, audio, master volume is all the way up, sound quality high. Uh, 
All right, I'm back. I can definitely hear sounds right now. I hope it's... I didn't save. I just quit. I hope it... Nope. I'm not getting any sound. Well... Volumes up. Well, I'm going to leave captions on and we'll just move on with it. Alright. You still have not traveled through time. Please enter the time portal. Welcome to the future. Time traveling through portals will be an essential part of the testing course. In order to help you distinguish between the present and the future, this part of the Nourishing Center has been left untouched for the last 20 years. 20 years. You may see some signs of decay. Don't worry, the Enrichment Center is designed to withstand centuries without proper maintenance. Find a way to the exit chamber. Yeah, I, I don't know if the foreboding vibrating of the room was... Now, so this is it's like if this is the past and that's the right side of the room and this is the left side of the room then I go in here if that's the same door so it's like a mirror image that's probably going to cause some trouble with my brain later on Alright, I've got a button connected to a wall, so I'm going to push it. I get another time portal. And this one leads back to the past. Alright. So I guess it's just showing you how it works. Still confusing with the mirror image thing. So the door's on my right. When I come through, it's still on my right. So it's not really a mirror image. Welcome to the present. If you're ever unsure which timeline you're in, simply something. Crap, I should have read that. Alright. Well, I guess this is the exit. So on to level two. Or not. This average science test subject teleportation device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next test chamber. This process is absolutely safe, usually. Huh. I guess uh, they didn't have the animation for the elevators. Okay. That's still a load screen. I hope they fix the sound issues. This next chamber will involve cube and button based testing with the perks of time travel. Extremely dis I, I hope I'm not the only one. Well, if I am the only one having this problem. Test chamber 2. A cube placed in the present will appear in the same position in the future. And then they drop a cube on Moving cube in the present will automatically update the location of the same cube in the future. Alright. So I need it on that button. But I can't carry it through here because it disintegrates. Material emancipation grills will vaporize any unauthorized equipment and pass through them, including cubes. You'd think the cubes would be authorized. Since it's all part of the same testing facility. But I guess if I Bringing a present cube to the future violates the laws of causality and is therefore impossible. Okay. Oh. Well, wait. I can just leave the cube here. Then travel. Ooh. So they move the... I'm good. Okay. 
and then travel here. The future version of the cube can be moved freely without affecting its counterpart in the present. It will stay wherever you leave it as long as the present cube's destiny is not altered in any way. Alright, so that opens the door. Please continue to the next chamber. So if I understood that right, then the present cube should still be right here. Okay. So moving the present is it altered in any way. So if I just move it over a foot, does that change? Yes, it does. Okay. So once it's placed in the present, as long as I don't touch it again, I can move the future differently. But if I move the present again, then the future um, resets. Now, this looks kind of dusty and dirty. I didn't really pay attention to the first one. I want to see how it looks. Yeah, no, it looks much cleaner. And it's blue. Is the one in the future blue? No, it's orange. Huh. I wonder why. Anyway, so now I'm going through the future door. To find... Can I go this way? No. I miss my portal gun. I need a portal gun. Elevator. Need a portal gun. Oh, I'm going down. Understanding concept of cause and effect will be vital to solving upcoming tests. Simply put, everything you do in the present has an impact on the future, but not the other way around. Yep, figured that out. I mean, you already told me, but I figured it out. Can I get in there? Is that a secret area? It looks like a secret area. I can't get it. Uh, maybe I can, but I'm not going to waste time trying. Ooh, chamber three. All right. So I got a time door, two buttons, and an exit, and one cube. Oh, I know how to do this. So assuming the same cube is present in the past, yeah, I guess this is when, uh, no, because this is the past. GLaDOS didn't rebuild until the future. And they said it was 20 years apart, so... So I put that on the first button. Then I go to the future, and now I can pick it up and put it on the other button. Oh, but... Okay, no, that... Wait, can I do that? Alright, so it, I'm not as clever as I thought. Can I take a future to the past? I can! And it turned orange when I set it on the button. Do they always do that? It's impossible to bring a present cube to the future. A clever trick allows you to have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. This will prove useful in future chambers. Okay, yeah. It turns blue. Oh, shit. By moving it, I reset the cube. Alright, there we go. Moving on. I keep going the wrong way. All right, chamber four. Lots of doodly bits. All right, a cube dropper, a camera. Four of 25, 25 levels. Wow, that's a lot. All right, that should give me my cube. I'm in the past. I need... 
I'd say past. This is the present. And the other is the future. Which, I, uh, I, to me, if this is set in the Portal 1 era, then this is the past and Portal 2 is the present. But, oh, that's not going to move up. Can't I grab it and run? No. Alright. I just want to see what's up there. I think there's another button. Alright, well let's go check out the... Uh, whatever. Future. So if I take this off, that goes up. Oh, I bet. What if I do this? This cube will disappear if I move that cube. Hmm. How can I switch these two cubes? So if I... Hmm. Let me try this. Set that there. And pick this one up. Okay, and that one. But that's fine. No, that's perfectly fine. Because I can take this one and put it here. And that lowers. And then I go over here. And now when I pick this one up, pick it up. The other one disappears and this raises and I can just put this one here. Ta-da! I'm so smart! Always remember if you change the destiny of an object in the present, the future version will be affected as well. Change the destiny. If this sounds too complicated, you're in luck. The next chamber will only heavily rely on your understanding of a very basic concept. I'm so... I said it before, this is just... Ah, I wish the sound was working. I, I hope it's not me, because I'm going to feel really stupid having recorded this entire thing with no sound. Alright, here we are in chamber... 5. Okay. Um, there's only t 25 chambers I'm in chamber 5. There's a button, there's a switch. Okay, so that I need this switch and another switch to open what I presume to be the exit up there, yep. It says I can pass a cube up. Okay. Uh, let's see, can I get up there? Yep, it's broken. Hey, I got a pass cube. Now oh, wait a minute. Didn't even occur to me to try that. I bet you it's the same here. Yep. So I'm going to assume I will need. To, oh, use future cube. I'm still going to call it future and past and not present and future. So apparently, even though this should be a totally different cube. Well, no. If it was the same one in the dispenser, yes. This changed the destiny of the other cube. But in theory, that means if I go in there and push the button in here to make a new cube, it should be a different cube, but I'm betting that's not how it works. Anyway, so I put this cube up there, and then go to the future. And, uh, oh, there it is. It's like, where did I put it? And I will take it from here, here, 
back to the past. Onward to adventure. And set it down. Now, I can go up here. And I can grab this cube, which will make that one disappear. And then put it on the second switch. Stay. Good. By now you hopefully understand the concept of cause and effect and how cubes behave in different timelines. Let's move on to something more interesting. Yay! More interesting. So it seems to be that... Wait a... Oh no, it's loading screen again that gets me every time. I was going to say, it seems it is not really... It wasn't really five levels. It was like one level with a bunch of different chambers in it. The moment you've been waiting for. Aperture Silence Pridely presents... The Triple Portal Device. I got a portal device. I can place three different portals. Blue, orange. For now, to introduce the concept of portals in different dimensions, different timelines, the time portal will be placed for you. Good, because I can't figure out how to fire it. Button, 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 button. Ah, oh, come on, what button is it? All right, well, let's just moving on. Let me see. Options, controller, button layout. Blue portal, orange portal, gesture, partner view. Nope. There is no time portal. So. Alright, well, I can at least do this. I don't even know where I'm going. That's where I came from. That's where I'm going. So what happens? A portal placed in the present will appear on the same surface in the future. Okay, well that was my question. So I use the time portal and now I can jump down here and step through here and I could just portal as normal, right? I don't need A portal placed in the future will not override its existing location in the present. Huh. So that means that's where it was, and that's where it is in the present. That's where it is in the f future. Or, Pat, that's... Uh, you know what I mean. Hey, that's me! Alright. I understand now. Good thinking in four dimensions means not only knowing where to place portals, but also where. There was a period in that. I read it as one sentence. Still don't know what button to press to make him not. Alright, fine. Do I have to portal through here? Well, I can't portal through there. Uh, can I crouch? I mean, I can crouch, but it's not doing any good. Alright. Oh, look at that. Didn't even notice. 
So this is where I'd like to be able to place my own time portal. Well, I have literally Well, I got sound on somehow. Well, now I feel like a damn fool. All right. So I can't. Left mouse. Left mouse. Right mouse. Middle mouse does nothing. Alright, so it's not just because I'm using a controller. Can I go back? No, I can't go back. So the solution has to be probably staring me in the face. Can I portal up there? Can I portal up there? I can! The solution was staring me in the face. I was too obsessed with trying to figure out why the blue portal wasn't working. Wait, why? Is that the exit? I thought I was trying to go that way. No, I said blue portal. The green portal. Or the green portal. Anyway, it's working now. Please ignore that. The decay of this facility over the past 20 years may have caused the destruction of some portal surfaces. Try to find a way around this. That is not GLaDOS. I assumed it was going to be GLaDOS, but I guess if it is a not, if it was a made mod, it probably didn't have access to the same voice actors. Well, I can't shoot a portal through this, and even if I could, traveling through it would break the portal. I wonder if it breaks a time portal. portal only. Oh. Well. But. Alright, let's go to the present. Oh. Well, that's nice. So I can do that. Um, but I can't do that. But I can go back to the future where that's broken. Oh, what? Oh, because it doesn't go both ways. But wait, this is... This is the future, right? So a portal placed in the past should remain... That portal should remain in the future. Right? Oh, uh, it's because there's no portable, portalable surface there now. Okay, important lesson. But I can't get over there. Not sure if I want to, but it's my only choice. So the other time portal closed down. Can't have two time portals open at once. Okay, got that. That's where I put it in the past. Okay. 
hell, I don't even know where I'm trying to go anymore. I'm trying to go there. this and I come through here into the past and I put a blue portal in the past this is the past right yeah in the past right here and I go through here and put a blue portal and that leads me to here Now I can go back to here, and the blue portal in the past is still there, so I can go through to here. Nicely done. Take note. Because time portals exist in exactly the same location in both timelines, they can only be placed on surfaces which are intact in both the present and the future. Well... I mean, in theory, if I place this portal here and then went to the future and destroy it. Also, that doesn't make sense. Because presumably this wall didn't always exist. It was built at some point. So, you know, I mean, what would happen if uh, somebody built a building and then I immediately put a time portal on the wall? I guess it depends on whether it's a future time portal or a past time portal. And how does the gun know the difference? Does it have an internal clock? And this next chamber will involve the concept of momentum-based traveling through portals. You go in fast, you come out fast. Simple enough. As much as I'm disappointed that it isn't actually GLaDOS, I do like the voice. It does sound like a recording. Tempted to yeah. Let's just go. Alright. So chamber eight. There's a fizzler. So I can jump through there. That would let me get momentum. This is a time portal. So I can. Well, let's go take a look and see what it's like. So the fizzler's still there. Alright. Touching the material emancipation grills will cause any ordinary portal to fizzle. Time portals are not affected. If a portal closes in the present, it will also close in the future. So think about where and when to pass through them. Does that include if I place a new one in the future? Hmm. So that one over there actually seemed pointless. So I need to propel myself out of that one. And the fizzler's up on both past and future. Hmm. Okay, this one's got me stumped. Oh, wait. But what good would that do? Oh, there's something over there. Alright. What? Horse Pucky. 
I probably had to jump from higher. I probably had to jump from up there. Made it. Okay, okay. Alright, so now... I'm not feeling I'm going to need to use this one. So if I go now into the future... I should be able to place a new future one here. And I guess I can use the same. Alright, so that got rid of the future ones, but did it get rid of the past ones? It did not. Outstanding. Now that you know all the essentials, how about shooting some time portals of your own? Yes, please. Can I do it now? So here we are. All right, well, um, I'm going to call it here, and we'll come back later and continue this. Uh, again, I apologize for the sound issues. Um, hopefully that didn't ruin it for you. Uh, hopefully you'll come back. Uh, if you have any suggestions for other games you'd like to see me try, or just anything, uh, just leave a message. Until then, good night, good luck, good dreams, and have a pleasant evening.